I'm back with some more Canva hacks. Canva is a fantastic free graphic design tool that makes it easy for anyone to design. So if you are someone that needs to create graphics for social media, maybe you need to do presentation slides, create brochures, honestly, the list goes on. Canva allows you to create all of that and more. So I've already shared another video with some Canva features that you might not be using yet. I will link to that below this video. Make sure to go and check that one out after this one. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise here on this channel. I talk all about building an online business. So if that is what you are doing, definitely hit subscribe down below. All right, let's dive into the features. Canva is always updating and improving, and these are just a few of the ones that I found myself using again and again. Make sure you stay until the end because the last one I think is really going to help you up your game on Instagram. And who doesn't love Instagram? All right, here we go. The first hack is how quickly you can now change the colors of different elements. So for example, let's say that I wanted to change these pink sparkles to yellow. So I wanted to change it here, but I also wanted to change it on the second page of this design. Rather than having to go to each of them individually and change the color, now you can simply click on one, come up here to the square to change your color, select the color that you would like instead, and then you're going to go right down here and you'll see this option to change all. Click on that and that will change all of those elements within this design to yellow. So now we have yellow sparkles there and yellow sparkles here as well. So that has definitely saved me a ton of time. This one has been highly requested. So I am super excited to tell you that it is finally here. And that is the ability to curve your text. So I have a text box here. All I need to do in order to curve it is click on it then click on effects and you will now see curve brand new all right so click on that and then you can come down here to the slider and adjust how much it curves so you could do this or we could curve it the other way as well so yeah let me know in the comments if you are super pumped about this new addition as well this next hack is how to ensure that your elements are spaced out evenly so let's say that I wanted to have three different laptops like this in my design, okay? And I wanted to make sure that I had spaced them out evenly so that it didn't look like this. All you need to do is click and then drag your mouse across all three of them. Then you're going to go to position and select horizontally. From here, as you can see, it moved one over and it has now made sure that these are perfectly spaced out. So yeah, I use this all the time and you can also use it for vertical designs as well. So we could take something like this, go to position vertically and space them out perfectly on the vertical. The next one is how to easily copy a style from one element to another. So this works really well with text. So for example, let's say that I wanted to change with us to match the style of where it says share your, I can absolutely do that. Click these three dots here, then click this little paint roller icon, and then you're going to click on share your, then you're going to come down to the with us block and click one more time. And it's going to automatically apply all of those style settings. The next one I want to share with you because I love it. So whenever I was uploading images before, I would go over to uploads and then I would drag my image on top of this section here. So let me demo that quickly. Let, let's say I need to bring in my logo here. I would grab that and drag it in over here. Then once it's uploaded, I would click on it to bring it into my design. Well, you actually don't need to do that. You can open up your finder window then grab the image that you need and you can just drag it right on top of where you would like it to go in your design. Ta-da! I mean, awesome. How much faster was that? This next hack is how to easily create mockups for your online programs in Canva. So all you need to do is go over to elements, then scroll down to frames. From here, click see all and then scroll down and you'll see all different devices. So you'll see a computer, a laptop, iPhone, iPad, everything that you could need to create a great mock-up. 
So for example, I'm going to click on this one here, resize that a little bit. Then I'm also going to add in a phone and try and eyeball what size that would actually be. Same with an iPad. Awesome. So as you can see, you can create a really professional looking mock-up. Then all you need to do is go to your presentation or your online program, whatever it is. So for example, I'm going to go to my online course, Up Level with Asana. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I'm just going to, on my Mac, hold down Command, Shift, and the number four. If you're on a PC, you can hit the print screen button. Then I'm going to drag this on top of this screen. Okay, and then I'm going to upload it here. So using the trick from before, we can actually just drag it here. Awesome. So now what you're going to want to do is place it within the computer. So I'm gonna place it right there. All I need to do is drag it on top of it and it will take the shape of the computer. So what's the purpose of a mock-up? This is really to give an inside look into what a digital product looks like to make it more tangible, make it more real. So once it's in, I can click on that, then I can click on crop and I can go ahead and move that around and make sure that it's cropped in the way that I would like. Awesome. And then I could repeat this process for the iPad and iPhone, clicking over here, dragging it here, dragging it in place. Okay, so of course you can upload a few different um, screen grabs so that it looks even better. But yeah, that's how you create a mock-up quickly and easily in Canva. Finally, let's talk about working with video and upgrading your Instagram stories. So I'm going to click create a design, then select Instagram story. If you don't find it, just search it right up here. Okay, then I'm going to look through the templates. Now you will see that when you look through the templates, you'll actually see some with video included. So if you see a little play icon like this, this means that the template has actually included a video. So once you have found one that you like, you're just going to click on it. So it won't display the video right in this editor, but you can click on it and then click on the play button to see how it will look with the video in place. So then you can go ahead and upload your own videos. So if you go over to uploads, you'll see that you have the categories of images and videos. So if we click on videos, you'll see that I already uploaded a GIF of myself, but it's the exact same process of uploading a video or a GIF as it is an image, and then it will automatically sort into the images and videos folders for you. So I'm gonna take my GIF and I'm actually gonna drag it on top of that video and replace it with mine. Awesome, okay, so we can see how it's going to look. Then I can go ahead and change any of the other elements as well. So I'm going to click on it, then click on the color square here, change it to one of my brand colors. Same with this one down here. Okay, great. And these are actually just images, so I could replace those with my own images as well. So let's say I'm gonna use this one and this one. Those are the same, Never mind. Okay, so you know, just an idea, of course, you can spend more time on this and customize it, get it looking exactly how you want. But then this is now a video. You can download it as a video file, okay? So you're just going to download, make sure that it's on MP4 video, hit download. So as you can imagine, this unlocks a whole other level of creativity and you can create really fantastic custom looking Instagram stories and set yours apart from the rest. All right, so let's take a look at what our brand new story looks like. We're gonna click on that and then hit play. And as you can see, it looks a whole lot cooler and more custom. So I cannot wait to see what you do with this. Tag me on Instagram when you create these. I'm at Louise Henry and I would love to see what you create. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and learned a few new things. Now I would recommend going and watching this video which shares even more Canva hacks with you. With this video and that video, you'll be a Canva pro in no time. Actually, I have a ton of videos on Canva so I'll link all of those for you in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you real soon with another video.